Hey, shalom, shalom. Let's start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to our heavenly power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, Ruwell, and Time of this Truth. All right, shalom to the Bayad Dabada, and shalom to the sincere Akwathium, who are staying in order according to the scriptures. All right, like always, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to the elect. I am your brother Shemayim coming back with another lesson. All right, from the diligent soldier camp out here in Boston, Massachusetts. All right, um, not too sure again what I'm gonna name this lesson, you know, but uh, this lesson was inspired first and foremost through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh All right, and uh, through a video that uh, well, multiple videos that I've been watching, as a matter of fact, and videos that the elder, you know, has been uh, sending me through IG, you know. Uh, I believe it's Elder Malcolm, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, the video has been about, you know, I got to use, you know, keywords. Got to be wise with this because Esau Edom, so-called white man, will remove videos when they're being, when the topic is about, you know, uh, the crown pestilence, let's put it that way. All right, so key words, you know, the, the crown one to the nine, you know, uh, if that makes sense, all right? I'm pretty sure you sincere listeners are smart enough to understand, right? This uh this demic that we had around two years ago, over two years ago, you know, now there's a, a new strain and it's gonna be coming back, you know, harder, and the government is getting ready to uh push another uh Let's say a lockdown, and you know, and pass their uh their unrighteous decrees, right? I'm trying to be very wise with the words I use, all right, because I don't want this video taken down, but I want you sincere listeners to get the gist or get the picture. All right. That being said, all right, let me get this pic, let me get a scripture. Okay. Uh, in the book of Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter three, verse seventeen. Give me a second. All right. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter three, verse seventeen. It says, "Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel." Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right. So something, something is coming. All right. We're giving you this warning. We've been telling you that pestilence was coming. And this crown, this crown 19, this, this uh, uh, crown pestilence, okay, was just a glimpse of the Lord's power. We've been telling these people, we've been telling you people this. We've been telling you that this is just the tip of the iceberg. All right, worse pestilence are coming. Worse pestilence. Okay. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. This warning is from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. This warning is to you, Israelites, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American, and you speckled birds, which means you are. From the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but you look like the other nations. Okay. This warning go is going to you. All right, repent. Come back to the Lord. Seek the Lord. Hearken out to the voice of the Lord. So that the Lord can show mercy in times of evil. Right? In bad timings. All right, this is the warning, man. 
the elites are setting up uh 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 A, a, a scenario where a pestilence is going to uh, come back into your life and it's going to be worse than the one that we had, right? And the, the, the actions that they're going to take and force on the people to supposedly... Uh, take care of the mass and supposedly have a, a, a positive interest in your well-being is going to be devastating to the world and it's going to be devastating to the people. All right? No more human rights, no more so-called freedom, which ultimately we don't have freedom on this side. Only freedom you can get is by having your spiritual shackles broken you know by believing and trusting in this man Esau Edom so called white man that being said you're right let's get Jeremiah 444 and we'll start at verse 1 it says the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt which dwell at uh, Migdal and at Ta Tapanhes and at Noph, and in the country of uh, Patros, Patros, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, and upon all the cities of Judah. And behold, this day, are a, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein, because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger. In that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods whom they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. Howbeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable, abominable thing that I hate. You see? The Lord brought uh, uh, evils upon Jerusalem and Judah. This is the nation of Israel. All right. The Lord brought evils upon the Israelites because the Lord, because uh, uh, the Lord was provoked by by the wickedness of 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 uh, of the nation of Israel. All right. The Lord was provoked by your wickedness, man. So the Lord uh, judged Israel and brought evils upon Israel, right? Brought plagues, right? You upset the Lord. You are worshiping other gods. You are committing abominable sins, right? Abominable works, all right? And this is the same thing that is happening now in 2023 and been happening for, for a while now. All right, ever since Esau Edom been in power, because he been pushing his his philosophy, his way of living, his his wicked ways onto our people, and our people have have taken them and, and, and ran with those wicked ways instead of running with the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, instead of seeking the old path. Let me get that. Uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16 It says thus says the Lord Stand ye in the ways And see and ask for the old path Where is the good way And walk therein And ye shall find rest for your souls But they said We will not walk therein See and that's The Lord is telling us To seek the old path When our people was in order When our people was following The law, statutes and commandments Right when the Lord was dealing with us and taking care of us in every war that we were winning. All right, we were over the world, man. No one, no one could could uh take us down when Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua was dealing with us. So we're supposed to seek the old path. Remember, the law, statutes, and commandments were given unto us. The wisdom and knowledge of the Lord bestowed upon us 
you know, through the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, was the wisdom that we had in the sights of all nations. All right. The Lord made us separate from all nations. The Lord made us holy. The Lord was dealing with us only, you know. But our people is 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 rebellious, man. So that that angered the Lord. Our people wanted to do abominable works. Our people wanted to follow other gods. Our people wanted to uh 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 you know uh uh be an adulterous generation, spiritual man. That's what happens when you follow other gods and you don't want to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. And that's the same thing that our people is doing now, you know. And when you read verse uh uh four. Right, when you go read verse four in uh Jeremiah chapter forty-four, verse four, how be I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Same thing is happening right now, man. The Lord has sent prophets, right? And and he still has prophets out in the highways and byways. That's how merciful Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai are. That they have prophets out here. And Lord willing, we found that number starting with the 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 head apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS and anybody that's in the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. Right, the Lord has these men set up in the highways and byways, prophesizing onto the nation of Israel, man, uh, warning the nation of Israel, uh, preaching repentance, preaching the gospel. All right, but our people are still stiff necked, man. Are so stiff necked, they're hard headed, man. They they are uh, 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 they're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. All right, I'm gonna continue in verse 5, Jeremiah 44 and 5. But they hearken not, nor incline their ears to turn from their wickedness to burn no to burn no incest unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and my anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate as at this day. Therefore now, thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls. You see, when you when you when you're committing abominable works and you're following other gods and you're worshiping Esau Edom, right? You're worshiping the creation more than the creator because you out here worshiping Cesare Borgia. You out here worshiping a uh, 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 a stone, you know, like the uh, Muslims do. All right, you're out here following these other religions. You're out here following the ways of Esau, Edom, and his philosophies, and and, and you're and you're and you're with the shits. You're okay. You're you're uh, settled on your leads. You're comfortable. You like the way of Esau, Edom. You love the freedom that he gives you. That you can you can be whatever the hell you want. You can identify as whoever you want. You can be a sodomite, right? You can be disobedient to parents. All right. You following these ways, man, you are to command evils against your souls because the Lord is going to bring judgment upon you. All right. It says the God of Israel. Therefore, now thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls to cut off from you men and women, child and suckling out of Judah to leave you none to remain. And that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, uh, whither ye be gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourself off, and that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers, and the wickedness of the kings of Judah, and the wickedness of their wives, and, and your own wickedness? And the wickedness of your wives, which they have committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, they are not humbled even unto this day, neither have they feared nor walked in my laws, nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will set my face against you for evil and cut off all Judah. So the Lord has set his face against Israel, man, ultimately. You see? 
because our people have committed sin, man, and, and, and they keep committing iniquity on top of iniquity on top of iniquity and have no fear towards the Lord and are praising other gods. All right? And I will take a remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, and they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine, and they shall be a, uh, an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. And that Egypt is talking about America, man. Because America is a is a is, is spiritually Egypt, you see. Because Egypt just means bondage, and in America, you are, we are in bondage. Israel as a nation, as a whole, we are in bondage, man. We are still to this day payments of subjects. You know, we shall go to our enemies and want of all things. You know, pursue to the curses in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight. Right, verse thirteen: For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt. As I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by famine, and by the pestilence. See, and that was the point right here. By by pestilence, man. The Lord is bringing pestilence to America, man. And yes, uh, uh, these heathens and these Edomites are going to catch it. But two-thirds of our people is going to catch it too, man. Because ultimately, the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. You see? So it only makes sense that the Lord is going to be upset at the nation of Israel. And that's why we're about to go through a time called Jacob's Trouble. Let's see if I can get that. All right, Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You see that, that he is talking about the elect. Ultimately, in the time of Jacob's trouble, two-thirds of our people is not going to make it, man. Only the elect is going to escape from Jacob's trouble. All right. Uh, from there, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You see, I just read in the book of Jeremiah, right, how the Lord, you know, has judged Israel, you know, in the past, and he's judging Israel now, and he's going to continue to judge Israel because of their iniquities, you see, and and, and the people still don't uh, uh, have a, a sense of reality when it comes to who our power is, who our heavenly father is, who his only begotten son is. They in a sense of of delusion, and and in a in a in a, 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 a false reality, man. You see, praying on these other gods, Caesarea Borgia, believing in Esau Edom, trusting in Esau Edom, everything he says they extol extol to the to the clouds, man, and and and, and listen to you know the scriptures speak about how uh, when a rich man speaketh, you know they the, uh, they listen. And 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 these elites, these Edomites, these men in the political chairs that are Edomites or these false doctors like Fauci and all them, our people, our people bend over to them, man, and forget about the Lord. And this anger is the Lord, man. Ecclesiastes twelve and one. Remember now that creating that in the days of thy youth, you got to remember what type of power our Lord is, man. Our Lord is the one that 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 uh. uh that uh, uh brings evil and that brings peace to the land. You see, our Lord is the one that brings pestilence and plagues. Our Lord is the one that brings injuries. Our Lord is also the one that heals. You see what I'm saying? Like, our people don't know the power of our Lord and they choose not to follow and, and to hearken unto the word of our Lord and to fear our Lord, man, because, and, and, and it makes sense. That they they choose not it makes sense uh, uh that they don't have this wisdom and knowledge because they choose not to fear the Lord. And 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 um the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. You see? Now I'm gonna continue Ecclesiastes 12 1 it says, While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. The last thing you want is for the Lord to have no pleasure in you, man. 
That's what you have to remember that creator. Acknowledge your creator. Understand and, and acknowledge the true name of our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Right? Understand the description uh, 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 through the scriptures. Not through what men have said. Not through what Esau, Edom has said. All right? And then understand that, that, that salvation is for Israel only for us. Now we gotta come back to the Lord. We got you out here thinking about what about the other nation? What about the white man? Why you worry about them? Worry about yourself, man. The Lord is bringing plagues, man. The Lord is bringing pestilence, man. This is a warning shot, all right, that we're giving you right now before this shit comes. Another demic is coming, man. Understand this. Luke 21 and 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights. And great signs shall be there from heavens. And we are already seeing fearful sights and great signs, right? We're already seeing a lot of signs of chariots, right? The Lord's uh, 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 transportation, the vehicles, right? The chariots, which the people call UFOs. You see who the world calls UFOs, right? Let's, uh, uh, let's get the definition of pestilence in the blue letter for the, uh, in the book of Luke. All right, pestilence is Strong's G3061. All right. Let's see how they pronounce it. Strong's G3061. Loy Mas. Loy Mas. A pestilence, pestilence, uh, fellow pest, plague. All right. Uh, an uncertain affinity, a plague. Literally, the disease or figuratively a pest, pestilence. You know, and there's two types of pestilence, man, these diseases and then the ICBM missiles, man. And the ICBM missiles are pestilence that two-thirds will not be able to escape no matter what. That's a, that's going to cause a second death, that lake of fire. All right? From there, let's go to the book of Jeremiah 28 and 8, and it says... The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great, great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So the prophets of old were prophesying about this and there's nothing new under the sun, man. So we're doing the same thing. The, the scriptures speak about how the spirit of a prophet is subject to a prophet. So if we are these men that were prophesying back then, you know the prophet's gonna uh 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 in the in the uh regeneration or the reincarnation, the men on 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 this present time they're gonna have the same spirit of the prophet, and the same spirit that they had in the past life as a prophet. You see, and we are prophesying to you about these persons that shall come. You have not seen anything yet, right? Uh uh uh, these devils uh uh. Brought in the 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 smallpox, the chickenpox, you know, uh, uh, all these all these other things, harmful diseases, uh, to the Native Americans, to our people, we in a state of bio warfare, all right, through the chemtrails, to the pollution in our in our in our in our, in our uh, hygiene products, detergents, the the uh, uh our clothing, uh, poly polyester, right. All this is toxic chemicals, man. All right, and and, and this is how this elite is is uh, uh fighting us. He's polluting our water. Let me see. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. Uh, uh the Book of Micah, chapter two. We want to go to verse ten to the point. It says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction." All right, this is not our rest, man. Out here in America, this is not our rest. We're supposed to seek the Lord ten times more and be seeking the kingdom. The scriptures speak speak about how I'm gonna get it. Uh Matthew six and thirty-three. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All right, Salaki. So Come on, man. 
Always saying gotta fuck with this man. Matthew 6 and 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, man. Everything that you ever lack and desire uh, uh, that's righteous, the Lord's going to add on to you if you're seeking the kingdom of God first. That's the type of spirit we're in. We're not supposed to be uh, uh, settled down and relaxed on this side, man. This is not our rest. Everything around us is polluted and shall be our sore destruction. You see, Esau is, is constantly on war uh, uh, against you Israelites, man. And and these and these pestilence, these these other variants, and these other uh, diseases, and and and, uh, uh, and pestilence that are coming out, right? The Lord is pouring the spirit on Esau, 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 Edom to bring these out, right? Because Esau, Edom is the is the is the sword of the Lord, All right? So the Lord is bringing is using Esau, Edom to uh, allow His prophecy to come to life, to come to be, to be true. Right? The prophecy is that pestilence shall come. So the Lord is using Esau Eden for this, man. This is why you got to get right with the Lord so that the Lord shows mercy on you in these last days. All right? All right? Uh, from there, let's go to Second Ezra uh, chapter 15. And we're going to we're gonna start at verse 5. It says, Behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. You see, the hurtful works are fulfilled. Ever since Esau, Edom has been in power, the world been in a state of mourning, the world been in a state of wickedness. You see, so the whole world is, uh, 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 what's the word? It's, uh, it's, uh, so the whole world is going to be judged, man. And when I say that, I'm talking about the people, man. The wicked of the the wicked of of our people, two thirds, and the wicked nations, these heathens, man. Okay, it, the 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 hurtful works are fulfilled, man. Ever since Esau Edom been in power, wickedness has been has been uh uh uh, uh increased, right? Let me get this scripture. And the brother Malak is always bringing this out of uh, first Maccabees one and nine. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. This is Alex Alexander the Great and evils were multiplied in this earth. So after Alexander the Great perished, you know, evils were multiplied on earth, man. You see? So the evil works are fulfilled, man, and the Lord is is is, is about to. Uh, he, he it's not he's about he's already bringing judgment, but he's about to uh, 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 increase the level of judgment that shall befall upon you know uh, Esau, Edom, these heathens, and especially two thirds of of the nation of Israel. Right. So I'm gonna read it again, Second Ezra 15 verse uh, five. Behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So the Lord's going to bring death, destruction, famine, and the sword, man, and plagues, you see? And and, and, and the death, uh, uh, there's many ways. The Lord, the Lord is uh, is a king of, uh, you know how there's a thousand ways to die? The Lord is an infinity ways uh, to die. He will He will take you out in, in, in any in, in, in ways that we can't even imagine, right? And the and this pestilence is one of them, right? Matthew twenty four and twenty two. It says, "And except those days shall be shortened, they shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened." Remember, Esau Edom has a depopulation agenda, all right, and he's trying to depopulate the entire uh 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 uh. The entire world and bring it down to a 500 million when there's around close to 8 billion people, 7 point something billion people on the face of this earth. You see? And 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 one thing that uh, uh, Billy Gates, right, which he's a puppet, but he said that in order uh, that the problem is that there's too many people and in order to depopulate them, we're going to use uh, 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 
uh, Maxine, we're going to use Venoms. All right? So it only makes sense that these devils are going to push, uh, are going to bring out a Pestilence and then bring out a Venom that both are going to be used to take uh, to kill people, man. And it's crazy because because uh, uh, there was a lot of death uh, uh, caused by the venom that they pushed out in the time of the of the of the uh, crown pestilence two years ago, man. And this is not even in the media. And there's proof that none of this venom that they gave out had any uh, uh, positive outcome or was even the solution to the to the to the uh to the pestilence so everybody just got venomed up and now you're out here more fucked up than when you were before you had this venom that's what happens when you choose not to follow your how about shai so i'm gonna read it again matthew 24 and 22 and except those days should be shortened they should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened then if any man shall say unto you, uh, lo, here is a Mashiach, or, or there, believe it not. You know, and that was it there. That was The point was the 22. And except those days shall be shortened, they shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So for the elect's sake, man, the, those days are going to be shortened. Let's see what verse 21 says. That's a lot, yeah. Matthew 24. In verse 21, and it said, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And remember, Esau Edom been using bio warfare to go against the people. Look how, look how he took, how he, uh, 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 um, killed, you know, millions and millions and millions of Native Americans. Through, through pestilence, man. Through diseases. So that is going to be a walk in the park compared to what's coming, right? Because it says, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. So these tribulations are going to be so great that it's going gonna, it's gonna, uh, to gonna be things that we haven't seen yet. And all this is through the spirit of the Lord because this is the Lord's movie. The Lord is allowing these prophecies to come to be. Right. That being said, you know, like always, low willing this lesson be edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakakodash, DTA, Ababa Ball, Kwame Asharala. Low willing, on to the next lesson. Shalom.